Hey, Courtney. What do you get when you cross an angry sheep with a grumpy cow? I don't know. What do you get when you cross an angry sheep with a grumpy cow? Oh, well, I don't know either, but it's in a bad mood. <laughs> Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by the WTIU Children's Programming Endowment, ensuring quality children's programming for future generations of Hoosiers. Learn more at indianapublicmedia.org slash kidsfund. The IU School of Education, dedicated to improving, teaching, and learning in a diverse and rapidly changing world. More at education.indiana.edu. Smithville Fiber, the Gigacity Company, a philanthropic community partner since 1922 and proud supporter of numerous community organizations. More information at smithville.com. WFYI Public Media, inspiring Indiana with high quality educational content since 1970. By sharing stories and connecting people, WFYI inspires the best in our community. And these Indiana Public Television stations. Thank you. Welcome to the Friday Zone, everyone. I'm Courtney. And I'm Matt. We're bringing the noise on today's episode, Court. <laughs> yeah, our friends at the Wonder Lab Museum are here with some fun science. <laughs> the science of sound. Sound, sound. <laughs> right. First, here's a song on the Friday Zone playlist. Ha! 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 Sound, sound, sound. And so a carnival is what the world starts to be. Look, it's a Ferris wheel. It's right there, it's real. In the living room, the place where my parents chill. And a carousel right next to it. Playing the best music. Should we jump on? Let's do it. It spins like the hands on a clock. But I look and the clock on the mantel is stopped. With both hands on the 13. And I'm sure it means the clock is asleep. And we're in its dreams. Don't worry, it seems like a fun dream to me. So let's run around and see what we can see. It's 13 o'clock, and that means the clock is asleep. Dreaming about robotic sheep at 13 o'clock. Time seems to stop, and then the magic carnival is back again. It's 13 o'clock, and that means the clock is asleep. Dreaming about robotic sheep at 13 o'clock. Time seems to stop, and then the magic carnival is back again. There's a unicorn playing a flugelhorn and a firefly in a firefighter's uniform. A ghost supposed to ride a roller coaster? How can those dogs play poker using only jokers? I hope we're getting closer to the fun house, cause time is running out. Cause when the sun is out, this carnival is gonna get gone. It'll stop and disappear forever like a missing sock. But for now, it's unusual and beautiful. You can go watch trolls play a musical. 
It's like the clock went to sleep and built a world out of starlight, bumper cars, and tilt a world. Where purple elves wear turtle shells when they ride rainbows so they don't hurt themselves. And nothing faster than a rocket powered cheetah, but nothing looks weirder than a chimpanzee, bro. It's 13 o'clock, and that means the clock is asleep. Dreaming about robotic shit at 13 o'clock. Let's go every place. Let's sing and celebrate. Let's ride a water slide full of pink lemonade. Let's throw darts and balloons and win teddy bears and ride go karts to the moon. I'm already there. Wow, we'll grab some green cheese for me, please. I'm in a tunnel made of funnel cakes. Help me eat these. Stood in line for the time machine, but the ride was quick. Now I'm trying to get to the pirate ship. Ask directions from my coyote buddy Howell. So I try to ask the owls, but they only talk in vowels. So how will I ever know? Forget it though, cause now I feel the air getting cold like an Eskimo. I feel something start and something stop. And in the dark, I see that it's one o'clock. I look around and the carnival is gone again. Look at the clock and there's no 13 on it, man. It's 13 o'clock and that means the clock is asleep. Dreaming about robotic shit at 13 o'clock. Time seems to stop and then the magic carnival is back again. It's 13 o'clock and that means the clock is asleep. Dreaming about robotic shit at 13 o'clock. Time seems to stop and then the magic carnival is back again. Hi, I'm Sylvia the Sock, and welcome to Food or Not Food, the only show that wants to know. Is it food or not food? Now, here's our host, who's very appealing, Joey Bananas! Thanks, Sylvia. I'm Joey Bananas, and welcome to Food or Not Food. Is our contestant, Jake, ready? Come on over, Jake, and let's play Food or Not Food. So, do you know the rules? Yes. Okay, here's your image. And here, are your three hints. They are Crayola crayons, Switzerland, and moose. So Jake, is this food or not food? Um, I think it's food. Call It's cheese. Crayola crayons were invented in 1885 and have a color named macaroni and cheese. Switzerland is home of the first cheese factory, which was built in 1851. Cheese made from moose milk is the most expensive cheese in the world. Hey, Joey. Who's the most famous moose of all time? I don't know, Sylvia. Who is the most famous moose of all time? Mickey Moose! Cheese Louise. I'm Joey Bananas, and that's Sylvia's sock. And thanks for watching Food, food or not, not Food. food. Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Zone. We're joined by Nick from the Wonder Lab, who's going to talk to us today all about sound. Nick, how are you doing? Hey, how's hey, it going? Man, good. Welcome. 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 Yeah. A lot of good goodies here. Yeah. So today we are exploring the science behind sound and how sounds made. Ooh. Wow. Like, like sounds this. Sounds amazing. Yeah. yeah. Just like that. That's so cool. <laughs> so the way sounds made is through vibrations. So. I have a few objects here, a few sound makers here, mm. and all of them make sound through vibration. So I need everyone on the couches to pick one instrument up and just hold it right next to them. Mm. Which one do you want, Fallon? I'll take this one. All right, and let's explore what we have. So right down there, what do you have? Uh, maracas. Yeah, so you have maracas. So shake your maracas. Nice. Nice. That's really good. All right, so those maracas, they have little beads inside that rattle around. And those rattles send vibration through the air, and that's what we hear as sound. Hmm. And so what do you have? I have a ukulele. You have a ukulele, oh, yeah. great. Yeah, so strum it a little bit more. 
That sounds good. Yeah, so if you look really closely when you're strumming the ukulele, you can see the strings wiggle back and forth a little bit. Oh, I do see them. Yeah, so that's it's vibration. Like, it's kind of like the violin, but it's a, it's like it's a cousin of the guitar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're hearing the vibrations from the strings. That's what you hear right. when, you make no, when it makes noise. Yeah. Yes, yes, wow. Yeah. Madeline, what do you got there? I don't know what it's called. Uh -huh. I think it's called it's like a thunder tube or something. Yeah, a thunder, thunder tube. tube. So go ahead and give it a shake. Great. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> And so if we look at our thunder tube, we have our string that comes down from the bottom here, our spring. And that spring goes into a membrane at the bottom that shakes back and forth. And that vibration goes through the air and makes a sound. Whoa. That's crazy. So everything we have goes through the air, shakes, and makes a sound. Can I try? Hmm. That's crazy. What about, what about this? Yeah, and so we have our tambourine. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Yep, and so what do you have? Hmm. I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a kazoo. And oh, so can I see the kazoo? So our kazoo has a little bit on the inside right there. It's a little little membrane that goes up and down. And so when we hum into it, it vibrates and that vibration goes out into the air. And that's what we hear as sound. So sound is vibration. Hmm. Sound is vibration. So do you guys know that? Yeah. That sound is vibration? Well, they knew I didn't that. know that. I didn't know yeah, that. Either. That's very interesting. And a lot of different vibration. kinds of vibration noises, right. too. Wait, the vibration is sound waves. Sound waves? Yep, the Have vibration is sound waves. Have you ever heard um, when you put, um, uh, effort, like this, like, I forgot what I forgot. <laughs> like, um, it's like, it's like, um, it's metal, and, and it's, um, it's metal and... Oh, you and you shake it? I think I know what you're talking about. And no. And it's like whoop, 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 whoop noise. No? No. No. <laughs> no. It's a... Uh, I forgot what it's called. It's like... Is it like this? <laughs> no. It's something to put your sandwiches in, but it's metal. Put your sandwiches in, but it's metal. Huh. Oh, a lunchbox? Thing. A lunchbox? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I... No. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. So you got something else to show us, I think, right? Yeah. So we have a few more experiments. Cool. Great. Well, I'd we'll, love to get to those. Yeah. Right after this, I mean, check out the fun in the fitness zone. <laughs> <laughs> so a tin with vibrations seem... here. As you can tell by all the punching bags, I am here at the Sweat Box Gym, and we are going to learn about boxing today. Uh, we have the kids running around the gym doing high knees, doing skips. Uh, doing all sorts of things that will help their feet become more nimble in the ring. A nice day of boxing starts with some warm-ups, and they're going to do some jump ropes to get the blood pumping. Brayden and Wesley over here, and they are demonstrating blocks. Over here we have the kids practicing on the heavy bags. Coach James is uh, supplying a lot of energy to the room. He's doing a lot of yelling to amp the kids up, but it also helps them to react confidently and without hesitation uh, when confronted with uh, another boxer. Boxing is really important to me because it's something that 
changed my life, and I know it can change other people's lives as well, from the exercise and the discipline and the vigorous exercise that we have to do that that the kids get to come in and they get to exercise without actually getting hit, and they can get lots of things out of boxing without just, you know, people say, oh, I'm gonna get my kid hit. You know, they get to come in, exercise, have a good time, um, let a lot of aggression out, be as loud as you can, and hit anything as hard as you can. Uh, it's really great for the kids. How we feel? <laughs> In boxing, you just get to have fun and punch each other. I didn't know how to do it properly, so I would just punch a bag at home with no wraps, no gloves, no anything. I would just punch it and hurt my hand. You did one or two years, and and now you are more. You got more discipline behind the skills that you've learned from boxing. My neighbor, he does a bunch of martial arts. And when, once we went in his house, I saw his golden boxing gloves. That That's where I got into boxing when I visited his house and I saw his cool boxing gloves. I am sweaty and bruised just watching these fighters. Uh, they did a great job today. They showed um, excellent confidence and their energy. Uh, boxing is a great way to get lots of exercise and you should check it out. I'll see you later. And now, a story from the PBS Kids Writers' Contest. When the pie of taste clashed with the pie of knowledge, only one person could stop all pie from being destroyed. That person is Ender Stiv, the keeper of the pie pie, but he doesn't know it. And there still goes to school at X, X. He doesn't have any friends, but he does like pie. And pie! He eats it, Ooh. uses it all the time. What lovely pie pie, Enderstiv always says. No wonder he's the keeper of the pie pie. Enderstiv loves them both so much. Well, here's where the action starts. The pie of knowledge clashed with the pie of taste, creating a galactic supernova which disrupted the monster hibernating inside the center of the Milky Way. That monster was the pie-loving pie mathematician. But then, Enderstiv saw the pie in the pie, and he thought, I must eat that pie and compute that pie. So Enderstiv ran to NASA, hijacked a rocket, stole a spacesuit, and tra traveled into space. Just then, the pie-loving pie mathematician started to battle the Earth and the pie pie. Enderstiv got very mad at this, so he battled the pie-loving pie mathematician. Enderstiv used a space bazooka. The pie-loving pie mathematician used a pie pie intergalactic sword. Enderstiv tried his bazooka over and over and over again, but it did nothing. However, when Enderstiv wasn't looking, the mathematician hit him with his sword back to his spaceship. But then Enderstiv saw the mathematician's weak spot, a giant math book on his back. Enderstiv shot his bazooka at the weak spot, and the mathematician exploded. The pie and pie thanked Enderstiv and were his friends forever. When Enderstiv returned home, he wasn't thanked for anything. Hmm, Enderstiv thought. Maybe being noticed isn't the best thing ever. Maybe keeping friends would be a better choice. So Enderstiv's friends were always pie and pie and neither of the three ever got into a fight. Except the time when Enderstiv tried to eat pie. The end. Want to see your story on the Friday Zone? It's easy. Just enter the PPS Kids Writers Contest. Ask your teacher how to enter or go online to pbskids.org. Welcome back, you guys. We were just talking about something that was aluminum foil. You were explaining us an experiment, right, Jess? What is that experiment? Um, so you take aluminum foil and put rice in it, and you curve the edges of the aluminum foil, and you put it over a boombox, and you can see the rice moving. Because sound oh. is vibrations, rice. which Nick just told us from the Wonder Lab. So, Nick, 
So sound is vibrations, you have another experiment to show us more about vibrations, yes. right? Yes, so sound is vibrations. Um, anytime you hear sound, that's vibrations going through the air, hitting your ears, and then that sends a signal to your brain that you interpret as sound, oh. that you know as sound. Wow. Did y'all know that? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, wow. Smarty, I didn't know. <laughs> so we have some other things here that make sound. These are tuning forks. So if we take a mallet and our tuning fork and we hit it, it makes a soft, vibrating sound. Can you do that again? Yeah, let's try it one more time. Ooh. Whoa. And I can feel that vibration in my hand. It's still vibrating, but it gets really quiet. So something we can do is if we hit that and we put it on our pail, it makes it a little bit louder. Yes, I did. Because the vibrations are traveling through that to the bucket and then amplifying the sound? Is yeah. that what's happening? Yeah, so when we start our vibration in our fork, we can put it oh. on our bucket. It gets louder. It gets much louder. So it's vibrating the bucket, and that bucket helps it become even louder. Oh, wow. Whoa, OK, so you hit that. That makes it vibrate. And then you put it on the bucket, and the bucket vibrates too. So it's kind of like a stereo or like an amplifier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like a stereo and amplifier. And we also have different oh. size tuning oh. forks. Oh, that's a big one. So depending on the size of our tuning fork, those vibrations are going to be bigger or smaller. Oh. And so we can hit this one. Oh, God. Whoa. And it changes the sound. We have a few other sizes. So we have this one, which is a little bit different of a size. Ooh, I like that one. Wow. Ooh. And so all of this is vibration. And we can show that because we have two of the same tuning forks right here. Thank you. All right, and so when we hit this tuning fork, we can pass the vibration. And now this one is vibrating. And we can hear the vibration in our bucket again. That's Whoa. crazy how you can exchange the vibrations. I noticed that not only is it different like volumes, louder or softer, it's some of the different pitches as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Did y'all notice that? Um, well, I noticed that, um, but I've already, I, I work a lot with sound because we have a music teacher. That teaches That's that. really cool. Speaking of doing sound, I think mm. you have experiments to show us. You can do sound experiments at home. Yeah, we have an experiment that all of you can do at home. Oh, oh I cool. Can't wait. Yeah, we'll figure that out right after this. <laughs> wait, can wow. we try that? Um, you want to try? It? In the Friday Zone. Friday. <laughs> Peggy, Psst. Peggy. Stop it, Zarg. Are you awake, Peggy girl child? <sighs> what is it, Zarg? I, I, I still don't understand. Understand what? Uh, tell me more about the uh, friendship. What sea does it sail? No, silly, it isn't a ship. But you said. It was a metaphor. Oh. Here, Zarg. This is another poem about friends. <laughs> new friends and old friends, a poem by Joseph Perry. Make new friends, but keep the old. Those are silver, these are gold. New made friendships like new wine, age will mellow and refine. Friendships that have stood the test, time and change are surely best. Brow may wrinkle, hair grow gray, friendship never knows decay. Does Peggy have old friends? I, I used to, before we moved. Well, it's joke time with Davy. Joke time with Jack. Joke time with Davy and Jack. Joke, I mean Jack. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? No, it's not who's there, it's who's sure. <laughs> An Indiana joke. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Today, we're making kale salad. Kale is not a fish. It's a plant. 
Now that we've got that out of the way, let's make some salad. To make kale salad, first start with three stalks of kale. Add some olive oil, some of your onions you got here, maybe a little bit of garlic, get that out of the way, and some breadcrumbs. To make it look fancy, let's mix it together. Yeah! Once I flew through a storm and my space pod was struck by lightning, it was shocking. Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Zone. Nick was just showing us a cool science experiment that you guys can try at home on how to visualize sound. So what have you got? Yeah, so what we have here is a way to see sound. And so what it takes is a plastic cup, plastic wrap, a rubber band, and then some sand or rice. Mm. And so we put our plastic wrap over our cup, hold it down with the rubber band, make sure it's really tight. And then if we have some way to make noise, so go ahead and hit on our fan. <gasps> what do you see? The sand is um, moving and the rice is moving. That's crazy. Whoa, so We're those not are, touching the sand. So those the are the rice. vibrations yeah. in the air? Uh, yeah, it's like moving the rice, the the vibrations are moving oh. the rice on top of the awesome. yeah. sound yeah. moves sand. Wow. And so we have another experiment oh. too. And so what we have here is we have a metal spoon with two ropes attached to it. And if we put this rope around our fingers, put it on our ears, and hit that on the stove, we can hear a sound. That's crazy. Do you want to put it in his ears and yeah. then see if he can hear it? Go ahead and try. And you want to try? Sure. It was just wrapped around. Oh, cool. Awesome. Whoa. <laughs> what does it sound like? Cool. Well, it thank sounds... you so much. That was so much fun. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. Thank you guys for joining us on the Friday Zone. Remember to visit our website at fridayzone.org to watch past episodes, play games, and see behind the scenes photos. And, and remember, remember to live, learn, and play the, the Friday, Friday Zone way. way. What did it sound like? It sounded, or I could almost feel the vibrations in my ears. And I could hear the um, the metal up close. Oh. Did you guys want to try this? That's so cool. Okay, we have one more. I don't want to click it on something and then put it up to your ears. <laughs> and you can hear it. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by the WTIU Children's Programming Endowment ensuring quality children's programming for future generations of Hoosiers. Learn more at indianapublicmedia.org slash kidsfund. The IU School of Education dedicated to improving teaching and learning in a diverse and rapidly changing world. More at education.indiana.edu. Smithville Fiber, the GigaCity Company, a philanthropic community partner since 1922 and proud supporter of numerous community organizations. More information at smithville.com. WFYI Public Media, inspiring Indiana with high-quality educational content since 1970. By sharing stories and connecting people, WFYI inspires the best in our community. And these Indiana Public Television Stations. Thank you. The Friday Zone is online all the time. FridayZone.org is where you'll find information about the show, how to get in touch with us with questions or ideas, and read our behind the scenes blog. It's also where you can watch this episode, past episodes, and segments too. There's even web exclusive content you won't see on the air. So check us out at FridayZone.org. <laughs> <laughs>